50-year-old Adeyeye Adeniyi was arrested in Ipetumudu, Moro local government area of Oshun State, for being in possession of a human skull. He was arrested by police detectives acting on a tip-off. Adeniyi claimed that the skull belonged to one of his former tenants, but the police would not believe his story. The State Commissioner of Police, Olafimiha Adeoye, said Adeniyi wanted to use it for money ritual. The man was also found in possession of a woman's call. He has told us in the course of investigation that the purpose of getting that uh, score was to make money ritual. Akin wanted a very effective money ritual. And I told him we would need a cotton hoop in the nose and the ear of a dead person. He later bought a dead woman's skull. Akin is not at large, but the police found the skull in my possession. Forty-year-old herbalist Babatunde Awolola and his twenty-five-year-old accomplice Ademola Titilola were arrested along Iwo or your road for being in possession of two human palms. Awolola confessed that he trades in human parts but only serves as a middleman. He claimed that he bought the two palms from one Olalikon Olabode in Ubumosho and was on his way to deliver it to his client, another herbalist, one Faniji Adioye in Oyo, when he was caught by the police. Awolola has been in the business for long and itemized how much they bought human parts. The two palms go for 10,000 naira, while a dead woman's skull is sold for 15,000 naira. Funny idea you called me that he needed woman palms, but I said I did not know where to get it. Lakomi overheard our conversation and said he could get it. That was how we started the business. The police is worried about the disturbing trend of human part dealership for money ritual. Our concern that very many people today are interested in becoming rich without working. And some of these fellows are youngsters who should be interested in putting in their best as a way of adding value to their community, as a way of adding value to their society. But rather than doing that, all they want to do is just become rich overnight. Also paraded were five suspects arrested for being in possession of counterfeit currency. One of them was arrested in Ife and later assisted the police in apprehending four others. When they get the counterfeit currency, they introduce the currency into the market in bits. And the unsuspecting receivers will not know that what they have is counterfeit. So we regard them as economic saboteurs. And at the end of our investigation, they will be prosecuted. For allegedly being members of a secret court group and unlawfully being in possession of firearms, these four suspects were arrested. Please ask this appeal for parents. We want to just appeal to parents especially and guardians uh, not to jettison the values for which these, uh, our society, our various communities used to imbibe in our youths so that they can contribute meaningfully to their community.